When the Aggies joined the SEC, excitement was everywhere. Anticipation for that first football schedule was at its peak. One question several had about the slate was, when and where is the LSU game? You see, if there is one SEC school the Ags had a connection with before arriving in the league, it had to be LSU. Yes, there were 68 gridiron meetings with Arkansas in the past and the sharing of three coaches with Alabama, but there was something about the Tigers. Maybe it was, because of proximity, the fact that the cultures intertwined. In Texas, you can still hear a Go Tigers. And in Louisiana, a gigum is not that uncommon. You see, despite being in separate conferences for decades, we've always lived amongst each other. If you go into Houston, there are a lot of people in Houston that have Louisiana backgrounds. And because of the oil industry in particular, there are a lot of people from Lake Charles, Lafayette, uh, New Iberia, Homa, Morgan City, New Orleans, all through there you have people that, that, that have Texas backgrounds. It seems every Aggie knows a tiger or two, and vice versa. That means get-togethers will likely involve tales from past matchups. And when bringing up the bayou, what's strange is sure to surface. When Gene Stallings was still coach, we went down there and uh, there was a barge sunk, sunk in the river right outside the stadium. And it was a toxic uh, barge with toxic fumes in it. So we went over to the military people on campus here and got a gas mask for the game. Now, nothing happened, but it was quite exciting. The first time the two met was 1899. The last time was in the Cotton Bowl a couple of seasons ago. That was the 50th matchup. LSU has the advantage winning 27. The Aggies have taken 20, and there are three ties. But you have to remember this about the series. 32 of the games have gone down in Baton Rouge and six at neutral sites. That means only 12 times out of 50, A&M and LSU have played at Kyle. The home field advantage helped the Tigers gain the edge, but starting in the late 80s, the Ags grabbed control. I used to love the game. Over the years, I coached in that game a bunch of times as an assistant coach and as a head coach. And I'm very proud uh, as a head coach, we played them seven times. We won six out of seven. Heading into this matchup, the Aggies have actually won six of the last eight. It's a rivalry we've seen in spurts for over a century. But after the 100-year decision, it's on, season after season. And with these two programs and these two fan bases, it's one we're glad to see stick around for a while. Every time we went up there, uh, it was extremely hostile. Uh, and uh, you knew the minute you walked into that stadium, uh, whether it was any of the sports in, in football, basketball, or baseball, uh, that uh, those fans were going to be on you the entire ball game. This Saturday, the Bayou comes back to the Brazos. The Bengals are in College Station for the first time since 1995. And Kyle Field is certainly set to come alive.